Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss 7 and 8 problems in exercise 5.3 in quadratic equations of 10th class mathematics. Right? So before doing these problems, friends, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's do the problems. Yeah. See the seventh question. The difference of squares of two numbers is 180. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Find two numbers. See, the difference of squares of two numbers is 180. Right. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Then find two numbers. Now, let us take two numbers. Right. See, let the larger number, larger number b x then smaller number smaller number is y let the larger number be x and smaller number is y here clearly given that the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 the difference of squares of two numbers is 180 next the square of the smaller number is equal to 8 times the larger number see the square of smaller number smaller number is equal to 8 times the larger number has given clearly yes that implies the square of smaller number means yes y square is equal to 8 times the larger number means 8x y square is equal to 8x right Next, another condition he has given the difference of squares of two numbers is 180. Yes, according to the problem, according to the problem, the difference of the squares of difference, the difference of squares of two numbers, which means x square minus y square is equal to 180. Here x square minus y square y I have taken because x is the larger number no that's why x square first I have taken right. So x square minus y square is equal to 180. So x square minus y square is equal to here 8x only na 8x is equal to 180. So that implies x square minus 8x minus 180 is equal to 0 right. So this is the quadratic equation x square minus 8x minus 180. Let us find the roots of this quadratic equation by factorization method. Here 180. 18 tens are 180. 18 minus 10 is 8. So th that can exist. So how can you write this one? x square. Here minus symbol is there. That's why minus 18x plus 10x minus 180 is equal to 0. So, in this both x is the common x minus 18 plus here 10 is a common x minus 18 is equal to 0. Right, x minus 18 if you do common x plus 10 is the remaining part is equal to 0. x minus 18 is equal to 0 x plus 10 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 18 or x is equal to minus 10. Right, here x is equal to 18 and x is equal to minus 10 here this is positive one this is negative one here x is equal to larger number no larger number it may be equal larger number cannot be negative now here in these both compare means so that's why um, here x is equal to minus 10 cannot be can't be larger therefore the larger number, the larger number is equal to 18, right? Larger number x is equal to 18, but a smaller number is equal to. Here, we have got 8 square, y square is equal to 8x only, na? Yes, y square is equal to 8x. So, y square is equal to 8 into 18. 8, 18 is 144, right? Y is equal to root of 144 which means plus or minus 12. So, smaller number will be plus 12 or minus 12. Here, a larger number be 18. Therefore, smaller number is plus or minus 12. So, 
so what has given find the numbers only no therefore so the numbers are are 18 and plus or minus 12 have you understood clearly it's not it done next eighth question a train travels 360 kilometers at a uniform speed if the speed had been 5 kilometers per hour more it would have taken one hour less for the same journey find the speed of the train see again a train travels 360 kilometers at a uniform speed a train traveling total distance of 360 kilometers at a uniform speed we don't know what is the speed of the train next uh, if the speed had been increased which means 5 kilometers per hour more it would have taken one hour less for the same journey one hour less for the same journey so find the speed of the train let us find the speed of the train right let us find see solution let the speed of the train speed of the train b x kilometer per hour right let us take let the speed of the train be x kilometers per hour next uh, distance uh, distance traveled by the train train is equal to how much 360 360 kilometers right now time taken to travel 360 kilometers time taken taken to travel 360 kilometers is equal to what is the time formula formula for time time is equal to distance by speed only na? so that is equal to 360 by speed is x only right next uh, if speed if speed increased increased by 5 kilometers per hour 5 kilometers per hour then time taken time taken to travel 360 kilometers is equal to actually how much if a speed is increased by 5 kilometers per hour means actual speed is x increased by 5 kilometers means x plus 5 right next total distance is 360 kilometers then how can you write 360 by x plus 5 same formula only na? yeah next uh, see it would have taken one hour less so the difference between two timings will be one hour right and now now the difference difference between two timings two timings right timings is equal to one hour only now yes one hour only so suppose this is 360 kilometers per hour is 360 by x here next 5 kilometers increased means 360 by x plus 5 so if we if it travels like this in the 360 by x plus 5 the timing will be one hour less only now so that's why the difference between two timings is one hour so according to the problem according to the problem three sixty by x minus three sixty by x plus five is equal to one hour only na? one right difference between two timings is equal to one this is a suppose t1 this is t2 times right yeah now what is the lcm x into x plus five so this will be three sixty into x three sixty x plus three sixty five is a thirty six five is a one eighty eighteen hundred minus x into 360 360x is equal to 1 right here plus 360x minus 360x get cancelled so 1800 is equal to this transfer into this side x into x x square plus x into 5 5x so 
in the same at the same time i have multiplied and transferred into this side right yeah so now 1800 transferred into this side this will be x square plus 5x minus 1800 is equal to 0. now let us find the roots of the given equation quadratic equation for 1800 find out factors so forget 5 what are those is 45 4 is a 180 45 40 is a 1800 right so how can you write this one x square plus 45 x minus 40 x minus 1800 is equal to 0 45 x minus 40 x will be plus 5 x 45 40 is a 1800 plus into minus minus have you got it yeah in this both x is the common x plus 45 so in this both yes minus 40 is the common x plus 45 is equal to 0 right so x plus 45 is the common means x minus 40 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 45 or x is equal to plus 40 here speed of the train only now. speed of the train only we have taken x so speed cannot be negative right speed cannot be negative therefore speed of the train speed of the train is equal to 40 kilometers per hour have you understood clearly yes note it down okay friends if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much